Good day, YouTubers. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls all around the world. The wooden model ship is making little progress this week. I haven't really spent a lot of time on it, but I did get to finish the upper shrouds on the three masts on the port side. I think there's going to be some more shrouds up here. But I'm going to turn the ship around and do the shrouds on the starboard side for the upper section. These are a lot easier than the, the lower ones. They do go a little quicker. The dead eyes are smaller, which makes it a little more awkward, but <clears throat> super glue really helps. It's the old painter's statement or adage you can cover up a multitude of sins with paint. Well, you can fix a multitude of sins with super glue. <laughs> So I'm going to flip the ship around and get to working on the other side. I've been doing a lot of yard work this week and this is the only day I've worked on the ship because of too many other things going on, which is normal for me. We harvested a whole bunch of onions and uh, tomatoes this week and my wife did some canning but as you can see the all the plants over here are really booming we got more seed starts coming up some green beans starting to poop out carrots lettuce, celery, kale and Swiss chard, cabbage, we've already harvested a couple of those, somebody's in there eating that one isn't there, wonder what that is, a squirrel or a bird, somebody likes it. This is the rosemary and thyme and scallions. And then this is where we harvested tomatoes and uh, harvested about probably 20 or 30 onions that were pretty big. There's a few more ready to go. This is Brussels sprouts. Not quite big enough yet. Squash. We added a bunch of dirt to the potatoes in those beds. We got taters back there and taters up here. Of course, I just gave the chickens some mealy worms. So they're out finishing up the scraps. Them three red hens aren't too friendly with the black ones yet. It'll probably take time. Oh my goodness, one nest has got pushed out of the they scratched it out. Wonder why they did that. It wasn't to their liking. <laughs> That's some kind of a... I can't remember where we got that. Yeah. There's more of it up there. 
it comes with a little paper backing and it's already glued to the backing so it's hard for them to mess it up unless they rip it all the way out. So I'm going to go in and eat some lunch then we'll come out and turn this baby around work on the other side. All right, we got the ship turned around. And I don't know if I filmed this before or not, but this was the, the bottom dead eye on the crow's nest. Top dead eyes are different than this because they don't have a long choker on the shroud. So I knocked that burr off from the laser cut and then I cocked this in my tweezers so that the bottom hole is facing out where I'm going to tie that knot and I let the edge of the dead eye stick out of the vise a little bit so that super glue will help grab that rope on the dead eye along with the knot we're going to tie so we just do a simple granny knot Pull that really tight and then get the other end of the long part of the tail over in the alligator clamp and then before I stretch it or whatever I'm going to get a, a liberal dab that's a little bit too liberal that's what the rag is for liberal dab on there and then put some tension on that knot and use my crappy tweezers to sort of crush that where my little choker line's going to be while the glue is still wet I'm trying to close that up as much as I can before I put that little choker on there. Then with these lightweight clamps and then stretch it out a little more. You take this and do a granny knot on both sides. So we do one over here to help close that up. See how it went closed between the two ropes? And then do another one on the other side. And I think with the first dab of glue, we're getting the edge of the block wet, so that keeps that rope from coming off of the block later on. So now I've been using regular fingernail clippers for trimming these back because I can get in really tight as opposed to a little pair of scissors. You just got to be careful you don't blow the knot up with them yeah you know you get too much glue on there when it sticks in the vise too much so that's what it looks like when we're done
and now we're going to cut just enough to get through the crow's nest and tie off down there on the shroud where that little piece of wood is. So now let's adjust the camera up. Get you guys up here high enough to see. Because literally this crow's nest is at my chest height, which is good for working. Now that's one thing I want to show. This is all the scrap rope, little tails we cut off and stuff. I save it because there's a little pieces in there that are long enough to use for something else later on. So don't throw it all away until you're really done. In fact, part of this down in there is from the last ship. You can see a little different color brown. It does come in handy to have a little short pieces. You don't have to waste new rope off your reel. So let me check and see how you're seeing me there. Okay. And we'll put this paper behind this just so it's easier for you guys to see. what I'm doing so now another trick is uh, these are uh, needle threaders you can get it at the sewing store the hobby store Walmart Michaels so we stick that up through the hole from underneath because we want to pull that rope down through there and then stick this in it where it's open at and that'll grab it and pull it right on down you don't have to try to feed it through that hole because this cotton rope that comes with the ship isn't very stout unless you put some wax or put super glue on the end of it so on this first one here I'm going to go through the first and we'll stagger them. We only got four up here, so we'll go space it in about three or four shrouds, and then another three or four shrouds, and then the last dead eye up here will be over on the end. So I've been going through the, the back side instead of coming around the front because I think it looks better. It helps show this little wooden doll we got in there. And in order for that knot to pull, tight that way I got to put the tail back through and then grab it pull it up and then down after you pull it down it puts tension on that line and then we get a to have a super glue on that knot and we also want to make sure it's not pushing our shroud next to it over too much so we may want to slide that over some to try to keep the even spacing that helps it look so much better now stick this to the back and cut it off so that's the first one of this crow's nest we just finished doing the four over here on the bow spread crow's nest and later on there'll be rat lines from the bottom all the way up so the sailor can climb up and get on that crow's nest So we set up back down on the chair and cut another one out, repeat, do another one, another one, another one. We got 
four and three. Got six more to go. I don't know if you can see it or not, but on this crow's nest, I mounted the nest board backwards. And the three holes, there's one there, there, and there, should be in toward the back instead of the front. And I didn't realize that until it was too late. So I had to drill new holes over here for the correct position of that. Hopefully it's correct anyway. But that's just a mistake you can repair if you need to. So that's how we do the bottom dead eye. On to I see that spacing above there is a little off, but once you get all the rat lines in there it isn't gonna show. It's just down in this area that really matters to make it look good, uniform. See, we finished the bottom set of dead eyes for all three of the masts. Ready to go up like the other side is done already. Thanks for watching.